Hello to all my viewers, this is Magical Amazing, and today's video is going to be on my Cardboard FP45 Liberator. For those of you that are unfamiliar with this pistol, I suggest taking a look into its history and development, as it's a fairly interesting story. Once you know the background, you'll realize it really is no accident that it looks as crude as it does and functions as weirdly as it does. With that in mind, it is theoretically a fairly simple design, so I figured I'd give it a shot to make the thing actually work. Now when I say work, I don't necessarily mean it shoots anything, but the internals are designed and built the same way as the real ones are. There are a few changes because of the way that cardboard works versus sheet metal, but when you pull the trigger, it drops the striker. And though the design is simple, everything does have to line up just right so it doesn't bind and is the right shape and size. So let's take a bit of a closer look at the gun from a different angle so I can kind of show you the whole thing, and I'm going to start by unloading the cartridge I just put in. I do that by pulling back on the striker so it disengages and turning it 90 degrees. I then pull up on the breech plate which exposes the cartridge and you have to use something from the barrel to poke it out from the front. That's even what it says in the instructions for the real one. This is sized to use a real 45 ACP cartridge. With the action open you can see what it looks like unloaded. You can see that the breech plate slides up and down to allow the cartridge to be locked into the chamber and the striker can pivot a full 360 degrees. It isn't constrained in any real way. Here I close the breech, replace the striker by lining it up with the hole on top there, and when you pull the trigger, boom goes the gun. As a side effect of the working internal, this is also the only gun I have with a movable trigger. As you can see by the way the firearm operates, there is no auto-loading mechanism. There's just a plate on the bottom of the grip that slides out, and these would have been dropped with 10 rounds of 45 ACP just kind of thrown into the grip. With such a crude pistol with a non-rifled barrel, you'd expect the sights to be just as bad, and you'd be right. But it was just good enough for what it was designed for. The internals of this gun works the same way as the real one. There's a bar going from the trigger all the way to the striker, and that's that roll of paper you see on the bottom there. There's also this top roll here, which goes into a hole in the breech to line up the firing pin so it goes through every time. Another little interesting tidbit is this sheet of paper was included with every firearm so that anybody who picked it up would know how to use it. Pictures transcend language barriers, so anyone that speaks any language could look at the pictures and figure out how to use the gun. I am planning on releasing a video on how I made this gun, but because it took a couple tries to get right, the video might end up being a little bit confusing. It's also going to take a little bit of time to get through all of the pictures and videos of my multiple attempts, so it's going to be a little bit before that video comes out. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is Magical Amazing, signing off till next time. See y'all later.